Now, as more cities and countries go on lockdown, Eurozone finance ministers are discussing a coordinated response to the coronavirus crisis. To talk more about this, I'm joined on set by Yuka Hoya from our business desk. Yuka, thank you again for being with us. Tell us more about what we're expecting from this meeting. Well, Saddam, European Union leaders have yet to uh, come up with um, radical measures to um, tackle the crisis as a block. And um, so far, most steps to curb the impact, the economic impact uh, of the pandemic have been taken at a national level. Now, Eurozone finance ministers are holding crisis talks via video conference and will likely agree on flexing the EU's budget rules that allow governments to increase spending and therefore deficit to help companies cope with the crisis. The EU's internal market commissioner, Thierry Breton, says that the pandemic will likely shrink the bloc's GDP by more than 2% and send it into recession this year. Mika, let's uh, move the focus to France, where the government is expected to announce additional measures to help businesses. Help oh, businesses. Well, this after, of course, uh, ordering all restaurants, cafes and non-essential uh, shops to close until further notice. Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire has said uh, that the state will spend tens of billions of euros to help companies get through the crisis. The government is offering things like deferred tax payments and compensation for reduced working hours, as well as for working parents taking sick leave to take care of their children at home. France's Banking Association has also said private lenders will do whatever they can to support small businesses, especially retailers. Meanwhile, the Minister for Agriculture has stressed that there won't be any food shortages and called on consumers to stop panic buying. Now, global central banks have already started taking uh, coordinated action. Tell us what that means. In well, the context. central banks uh, from several uh, leading economies, uh, led by the US Federal Reserve, have agreed, have agreed to offer three-month credit to, in US dollars at a discount rate to, make, to banks to make it easier for banks to lend money. The Fed on Sunday cut its benchmark interest rate by a full percentage point to near zero in its second emergency move in two weeks. It's also restarted a massive bond buying programme. The Bank of England's new governor, Andrew Bailey, who took office today, also promised a more prompt action. Now, but those announcements have not been enough to calm investors. European stock markets are in free fall again after suffering the worst week since the financial crisis. Paris's CAC 40 now down nearly 10%. And US futures suggest circuit breakers may, may again kick in to halt trading right after opening. Airline shares are particularly hard hit as the travel industry is facing a massive slowdown because of coronavirus. IAG, the owner of British Airways, has announced it's slashing its flight capacity by three quarters for April and May. Air France KLM is also cutting its capacity by 70 to 90 percent over the next two months. EasyJet and Virgin Atlantic, meanwhile, are calling for government help in order for the industry to survive the crisis. Now, let's look at the airline's shares. Then those airlines and others are having another terrible day on the stock market, IAG plunging more than 23%. That's nearly a quarter of their market value being wiped out. A t really another terrible day on the stock markets in to general. To be expected very much. Thank you for that, uh, Yukaria, for that update.